This is some of the really fun stuff in NLP. People move their eyes about all the time, don't they? They move them up and down and left and right. Have you ever wondered why they're doing that? It's because they're doing something inside their head. And depending on which direction that they move their eyes, it'll indicate which representational system they're using. When they move their eyes in response to a request for information, then it'll indicate that they're trying to locate the information, either visually, auditorily, or kinesthetically. It's also possible that people will move their bodies, heads, in the same direction as their eyes. So, if we watch people's eye movements, then we can start to get an idea of what's going on inside their head. Do you think that might be useful? Have you ever experienced a time when you got the feeling that the person that was talking to you was on your wavelength? That they understood you completely and that they could almost tell what you were thinking? The fact is that you can give people this warm feeling. The feeling that this person knows me well. That feeling that gains you trust. And you can do that by observing where their eyes are going. We can never tell what someone's thinking exactly, but we can tell how they're thinking through a process. And that's what we're going to have a look at now. The eye patterns on the page are those of a normally organised person. And this doesn't mean that another person's eye patterns are unorganised, just that they're reversed. I think that roughly 90 to 95% of the people in the world are organised in this way. They're either organised in this way or they're reversed. If you've watched people for a while, you may have noticed that when you've said something to them, they say, yeah, yeah, I can see that, I can see that. And they move their eyes up as you look at them, up and to the right. Or they might have said, that just doesn't sound right, and then move their eyes horizontally and to the right. Some people may say, you know, I just don't get a feeling for that. And as they do, they move their eyes down and to the left as you look at them. Well, these eye patterns are also quite useful because we can get an idea of what's going on inside a person's head. Eye patterns come in a package with NLP. However, NLP didn't discover the connection between thinking with eye movements. William James, the American psychologist, noted in his work, The Principles of Psychology, that some form of eye movement accompanies thought. And Robert Diltz did some experiments in 1980 using electrodes and brain waves. And he asked questions relating to the senses for tasks involving memory, mental construction. And along with the work of Bandler and Grinder, they established the eye pattern chart as we have it today. So let's look at the page now. The left hand side of the chart is constructed and the right hand side is recalled. So top left is visual construct and visual recall on the right as you look at the person. In order to remember this easily it's always in alphabetical order. So construct, C for construct is always on the left and R for recall is on the right, unless the person is reversed organised, and then it's on the left. So someone who's normally organised, and that's a high percentage of people who are right-handed, and of course I've met some people who are right-handed and reverse organised. So someone who's normally organised, as you look at the person, someone who's making sounds, recognising sounds or rehearsing sounds, they're going to be moving their eyes horizontally and 
On the left hand side is auditory construct and on the right hand side is auditory recall. Again, as you look at the person. Now down at the bottom on the left hand side is kinesthetic and on the right is auditory digital. Kinesthetic is their feelings. That's their internal feelings. And auditory digital is self-talk. As we go on now and begin to look at the eye pattern chart, this is extremely useful for knowing what's going on inside a person's head. So for example, if a person looks up to visual recall when you're talking to them, you can say, oh, do you see what I mean? If you're talking to someone and they move their eyes horizontally, you can say to them, does that sound right? If they move their eyes down and to the left as you look at them, then you can say, do you get a feel for what I'm saying? Or if they move their eyes down and to the right, you can say, does that make sense? You can notice that people move their eyes in certain directions. And you can say to yourself, oh, I wonder what they're doing inside their head. For a while, I even asked people, when I first learnt this, I said, did you just make a picture? And they'd say, yeah, 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 how did you know that? 